I'm sitting here with Jerry Seinfeld. What in the world is happening that I am on the Conan O'Brien show? Yes. It's a crack in the comedy space-time continuum. <laughs> <laughs> I used to own this network. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Everything is backwards. Everything is it's... backwards, yes. I dismiss you now. Now I'm, I'm here hoping I... that you like me. <laughs> Desperately wanting to be liked. Well, it's working. Yeah. It's working very well. It is great to be here. It really is. It's been a long time. I'm very yeah. happy that it, we were able to do this. You know what's funny is a couple of weeks ago, I'm walking down the street and I hear someone call my name. Mm -hmm. Usually that's not a good sign. Mm -hmm. I turn around. It's you. Mm -hmm. We have a very nice conversation. And it got me thinking. You were just walking down the street, yeah. backpack, and I thought, what is it like for you to walk through Manhattan? It seemed to me like you're that kind of guy that just walks around. Well, you're kind of that guy, too. Yeah. You walk around. Yes. But and it was a very interesting moment. See, now I know. I do walk. I was being carried at the time by, <laughs> by two Chippendales dancers. Those were lovely guys, by the way. Huge very upper, nice yeah. Guys. yeah. And, so, and they did as a favor, too. Yeah, Jerry, paid, what's up? Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> this is Lars. This is Unge. Yeah. I love when you see, like, for me, it's like I know he thinks I'm some psycho on the street. Mm -hmm. I go, hey, Conan. But as soon as he knows it's me, he's going to change from, oh, no, psycho, to guy I know. Yeah. And it was very funny to watch you go, oh. You know, you <laughs> see that. <laughs> That's how I am with my wife every yeah. day. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's like when you don't answer the phone, you don't know who's there. Who is it? Who? Right, right. Oh, oh. But, but people are there. Be, be, when people see you, it's yes. like you've come out of the television. You're the, you know, the, so famous for being a New Yorker. Yeah, and you? Are the same? I don't know. People think I come from some other dimension, you know? Right. I'm, I'm like a parade float going down the street. I don't think it's the same. People don't connect to me on a human level. It's like being in a focus group all the time. Yeah. Where people are always telling you, I, I didn't like the Zantac joke last night. You know, just, <laughs> you're always yeah. getting ratings on everything you do. Doormen are just yelling at me, or cabbies, they yell at me, and you know how you're doing. They go, I like this, I don't like that. Right. You know what I get? I get people telling me, I saw the thing you did on the show last night. Then they explained to me why they were up at 12.30. Right. They say, I love that thing you did on the show last night. You see, I take a medication for a rash at 12.30. Like, all right. Now, do you have said uh, famously, and it's been quoted a lot, that you think New York City, Manhattan, is good for comedians, mm -hmm. it's good for comedy. Mm -hmm. What's the theory behind that? Irritation is good for comedy. Mm -hmm. And everything in New York is irritating. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have always... <laughs> right? So... I used to do this thing about how, I used to love the thing about when you're in New York and you're in the back of a cab and you look through the glass, it seems like it's happening on TV. Mm -hmm. And whatever the guy does, you think, oh, well, he's a cab driver, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. You don't think to yourself, he's going to kill me. <laughs> it doesn't seem real. And right. you trust, you see the license and you trust it. Yes. Even though a lot of the letters are like elements from another planet or something. <laughs> But you just trust in New York that cab drivers know what they're doing. But it, it is very annoying that you put your life in this person's hands that you don't know. You've never met them. You don't they're... know them. They've never been here before. And you go, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Right, right. Now, you are, you, you've also said you think it's good to be a cranky guy, that comedians are all cranky, a little bit irritable. Do you think that's really yes, true? Yes, yes. You name it, I can't stand it. Right. <laughs> and I that's just, where it all comes I, from. I don't like things. Right. Everything. <laughs> Things and, and irritate you? Everything irritates me. Humans, I, all inanimate matter, yes. uh, oxygen, it all irritates you. It all you. irritates me, yes. Yeah, well, what a wonderful life you have. It is. <laughs> well, if you, you know, you try and make a joke about it. Yeah, yeah. I want to mention uh, something else. Uh, you're also here uh, to mention, and it deserves mentioning, Seinfeld, the complete series That's box it. set. Uh, which was nine uh, years of my life in that box. Right here, yeah. and uh, it, it, phenomenally successful show. And I wanted to point out quickly, a show, I think a lot of people don't know this. It's mm -hmm. surprising. People just accept when something's a success, and mm -hmm. they think it was always a success. Mm -hmm. Seinfeld struggled. I actually mm -hmm. remembered uh, in the early years, yeah, it, it for struggled. Yeah, three and a half years, we were real, very borderline. People didn't, at NBC, were not excited about the show when we did the pilot, and there was only one guy at NBC who really did like the idea. His name was... Rick Ludwin, he was from the late night and specials department, and he's still with NBC, and in fact, he's here tonight. And he I would like happen. to introduce him. There's Rick Ludwin right there. That's Rick hand. Ludwin right there. <laughs> well, that's what he does now. Yeah. <laughs> his, reward, his reward for saving yeah. Seinfeld and making it all happen is to stand and monitor each one of our shows. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 
But if it wasn't for him, that would be an empty box right yeah. now. Well, and uh, I it deserves mentioning uh, we struggled too in the first, uh, well, a little longer than you probably. Uh, and Rick Ludman was one of the people who stepped in and said, "I think this show has potential," and uh, he was eventually proven wrong. So thank you, Rick. <laughs> 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 You're batting 500. Good for you. Uh, B-Movie is in theaters now. Uh, Seinfeld, the complete series, will be in stores on Tuesday. I think everyone's going to want to have that. Big thrill for us. Oh, thank, thank you so you much. Guys. Seriously, thank big you. night for us.